In this video tutorial, we're going to go a little deeper into WordPress and show you how you can add an entirely new page to your site. Unlike a blog post such as these here on my homepage, a new page can be a permanent resident which visitors can find a link to in your navigation bar. We're going to add that to the bar with a special link as well as create a submenu for our vehicles. We'll show you how to do that. But first, let's create our page. I'm going to come up above my header, hover over my site name next to the home icon, either click that or dashboard to go into the back end. And down here on the left, I will look for pages. And here's a list of all of our pages, as well as the title, the author, the date it was created or last modified. I want to add new. And now we can begin on our page. I'm going to give this a title, and this will be what's in the URL, not exactly what's on the page itself. Now I'm going to make sure I'm in the visual editor, and this acts like a mini word processor. If this toolbar toggle isn't already been toggled, go ahead and toggle it. Now let's create a title for our page. I'm going to center this and make it a heading 2. There we go, that looks pretty good. Come down a couple lines. Now before I add text, I want to add an image of our Mazda 3. So I'm going to come up to Add Media above Bold and Italic, click on that. And I don't have an image of a Mazda 3 in my library, so I'll have to pull one from a file. So I'm going to Upload File, either Select File or Drag and Drop, and it will automatically upload. So before we add this into the page, I'm going to make a few changes in this sidebar area here. I'm going to add a caption. some alt text. In case the image doesn't show on certain browsers, the user will still know what was supposed to be there. And that'll do. I'm going to come under Attach Display Settings. Under Alignment, I'm going to click Center. I want to link to nothing, so I'm going to set, click None. And here I can change the size a little bit. I'm going to set it at Medium and insert into Page. And there we have it. This is what it looked like actually on your page. Here you can also modify the caption if you want to. I'm just going to hit enter, come down a few. And now I'm going to add some filler text, which I have off screen here. I'm going to copy this, paste. And this is a little blurb about my Mazda 3. Now I'm going to add a video to my page. I'm going to come into YouTube. I have my pre chosen video here of a Mazda 3. Under subscribe, I'm going to click on share, embed. I'm going to copy this code here that they already highlighted. So I'm going to right-click, copy, and come back into my text editor. So now we're going to switch over from visual to text. I'm going to drop down here to the very bottom, hit enter a couple times, and paste that in there. And there we have it. But let's change a few things because it's going to little, look a little wonky when you go to shrink the screen size for mobile. So I'm going to give this a percentage. And again, this is just under width and height, and these can be changed. I'm going to also change this to 400 pixels. We come back to the visual, and there's our video. I'm going to hit Publish, and once the icon here is done circling, it'll now turn to Update. So there's no more Publish button, just an Update button. From here, we can either preview the changes. If you want to make changes, but you don't want them to go live, hit Preview Changes. It shows you what your page will look like. But now let's go view the page, so I can either click here or here, and open that in a new tab. And there's my page. At the bottom here we have our video, and as I was talking about earlier, when it goes mobile, it's going to shrink a little bit now. If it didn't, it was going to be off screen if you didn't change those dimensions. So come back to full width, and that's really all there is to creating a page. So let's go back into the back end, and create that menu item we were talking about. Under Appearance, We'll come over to Menus, click that. And now I want to make sure I'm in Edit Menus and select the menu to edit is Primary, not the Dashboard. Select that if it's not already selected, and it populates. Here we have a list of all of our links on our navigation menu, here. So let's create that page. It will already generate under Most Recent, or you can hit View All or Search for a page. So I'm going to View All. Find my Mazda 3 page and add 
too many. And there it is. Furthermore, I'm going to click down here. And if you wanted this link to open in a new tab or window, you can click that checkbox. I'm going to leave this on the end. I don't want it to be near these other items. So now let's create that submenu we were talking about. First, I'll save, and you'll see that our menu has been added. Menu item has been added here. So if I go back to home, click on Mazda 3. I'm taking a Mazda 3 page. Now let's create that summary I was talking about and rename the vehicles a bit. So here we see we have our new vehicles and used vehicles. I'm going to create a link. Cancel that URL. A forward slash inventory. Forward slash capitalized all. Forward slash. And view inventory. Now I'm going to add that as a new menu item, come up under home and drop. All I do is click, drag, and drop. Any of these can be moved around to suit your uh, tastes. Now doing that will just create another menu item in line with these three. So in line with these here. So let's create a submenu by clicking on new vehicles, holding, dragging to the right, and when the border moves, drop. Now you can see it's slightly indented that I'll create it as a submenu item. I'll do the same with used vehicles. So I'm going to save this. Go back to our page. Go to home or refresh. And now you see we have view inventory, and if we hover over it, new vehicles and used vehicles. So if they click new or used, they come to new or used, or view inventory shows them all vehicles in inventory.